Capricorn, hello, how are you? My name is Alicia, welcome. This is Empath Tarot, where spirit's messages directly correlate with being highly sensitive here on planet Earth. Now this is going to be a general reading, so if it does resonate, like, share, and subscribe so we can get spirit's message out there to fellow empaths. If you are interested in scheduling a personal reading with Spirit and I, all of the details will be down in the description box below. And for even more empath energy, check out my husband. You will absolutely love him. He gives such practical, easy to understand messages and guidance from Spirit that truly helps all of us empaths thrive here on this very dense planet. His information will be down below. But without further ado, Capricorn, let us dive right in and let's get started with the King of Pentacles, the Sun. My goodness gracious six of swords knight of pentacles and the world so i can see here that you're gaining a lot of experience in a field that's going to feel new to you but at the same time you can feel that it's going to be very prosperous okay right now it's really important to understand that everything that you're putting into what it is you're doing is going to pay dividends and going to reward you greatly it's important to stay focused on the trajectory of where you want to go stay focused on the desire because as soon as you give in and you focus on all the things that are going wrong or what has not yet been that's all your reticular activating system will bring into your awareness okay it's the same thing as when you go want to go buy a car and all of a sudden you see that car everywhere on the road it's the same thing wherever you put your focus that's where energy is going to flow to so you want to be mindful about that focus because i can see here that you're on a profound spiritual journey and understand that this journey is one that only you can walk capricorn okay you can't rely on others and you can only it's only you that you want to rely on it's only you you want to put the validation into because i'm telling you when you do that and you start to implement what you truly feel and how you truly what you truly desire that is when you are going to see the dividend that's when you're going to see the rewards that's really going to be the end of one chapter and starting another because I can feel that there are significant changes coming forward for you and again ones that are going to be very prosperous universe is making me feel and what's interesting is that thank you spirit that king of pentacles is also a good omen for abundance so very exciting okay so here we have the five of swords and here we have the king of wands. Whenever action needs to be taken, don't overthink it. At the end of the day, whenever you just act, your intuition will always kick in. It's important to, you know, make sure that whatever your actions are taking really resonate with you, right? Again, you don't want to look to others for um, advice. Well, for advice, sure, but you always want to make sure that the information that you finally choose to go with is one that validates who you are, right? It really feels good to you. Right now, it's understanding that this is a time of entrepreneurship, baby. I can feel Feel that energy. I can feel the strong want energy from you. And now more than ever is a time to just, again, don't overthink it. Just take action. That's all that's needed is just action, right? And again, allow this to be inspired action okay so action that's truly inspired from our spirits because i can see here that again there's going to be profound clarity again transformation and it's going to allow you to be able to walk away from old habits and old ways of being that have held you in place for some time this is going to be very exciting again remind remind yourself that any time that you're stuck in your ways and you're really attached to an outcome, this is going to limit you, right? Whenever we hear something as an empath, we hear something and it sounds really good and we're like, oh, this is great. This is it for sure. Really be open-minded to other possibilities because when that when we are so stuck on, to this specific outcome whatever we hear and, and, and it aligns with that our uh, uh, what we look for right say you have a, an outcome of you want a relationship to work really really well right and then everything that that person's telling you you're just like oh yeah that sounds great I love that but you're not really reading the signs you know what I mean that this person you know is kind of not messaging you back right away or you know sort of playing some games but you're just like no they're busy they say they're at work you know what I mean you make up these these uh your mind so attached to this outcome of this relationship working that you let all of the the games being played uh, and all the energy that's not given to you in a in a reciprocative way you let that slip you don't see it you know what I mean so that's why you really want to be mindful and be present and also understand that when we are attached to any specific outcome we limit ourselves very significantly, okay? But understand that the more that you just become more aware as your journey uh, progresses and uh, you learn to work with your heart as opposed to working with your head, that is when, again, you are going to be able to progress forward and feel more balanced in this life. And I can see that with the two of pentacles. But again, remember, Kat, you're the only one you can rely on. You know, at the end of the day, truly, um, 
you know, the, the, the decision and the power comes from within you. Nobody can make choices for you. Only you can make these choices for yourself. And so when you want to see the change and when you want to see results and success, know that that decision must come from within. We cannot give our power away um, by uh, to limiting beliefs um, or to um, or, or, or even to an area of or level of energy where we're obsessing over something. Because when we are obsessing and overthinking something, then what happens is we also create a lot of resistance. And then we will create an outcome we want to attach to because we are in a state of fear or overthinking, if you will. And when we quite simply just surrender, accept and realize where we are currently in this world, here I am, this is what's happening and we accept it and we surrender to it. That is when we release the energy of desiring more. So if this is in the form of a relationship, understand that if you are super connected to somebody, like you really want this relationship to happen and that's the outcome that you're attached to, you may be missing signs that this person is not giving you that reciprocative energy. And so when you quite simply surrender and say, okay, here, so here I am in this relationship. There's a connection. It is what it is. It might work. It might not work. At the end of the day, I got to go and live my best life, whether or not this works or not. You know what I mean? You've got to almost release it, right? Almost like you don't care. Like, of course you care, but you don't care. You know what I mean? Because whenever we care too much, we release or we, we, we remove Sorry, whenever we care too much, we're too attached to this outcome and then we do not see the opportunities around. And it goes the same thing with uh, our careers. When we are too attached to a specific outcome and we really want things to be, then we will um, make poor business decisions. And so we have to really just release that energy of, um, of, of needing things to be our way. And just know that the universe is always working out for you. Have you not noticed that as you go through this game of life, things will always work out for you. You'll always end up where you need to be. And it's always our level of resistance um, and, and where we put our focus and what we're thinking about that always blocks the universe from being able to give us more. You know what I mean? If you keep yourself in an energy of thinking about, of overthinking and, and over analyzing and, and only, you know, thinking about the past and all that just keeps you in the past. You keep recycling the same, you know, patterns, the same chapters in this life. You ever notice that? And so that's what the universe is saying. Be here now, Capricorn, be present, you know, be very mindful about what the present is giving to you because there's signs and synchronicities everywhere. But if we are not mindful, right, if we're in our own heads too much and if we're too busy giving our power away to all these limiting beliefs, then we are not being present. We're not being mindful of the present, which is where our true power is. And when we give our, our, our power away to limiting beliefs, then we really fall into this victim mentality feeling like, well, how is this possible? How am I even going to get this? It just doesn't even make sense. I don't even have any money. How am I all of a sudden going to get to making, you know, $100,000 a month? You know what I mean? Because set the limit, set the intention. Capricorn, how much do you want to make a month? Set that intention and then surrender and allow the universe to guide you there. Okay. It's as simple as that, but we are plagued with fear of trying new things and of doing new things and of reaching out of our comfort zone that this, we don't, we block the universe to just simply guide us there. Right? So understand that there is always enough. Okay. There's always enough abundance. There's always enough money. There's always enough love for every single soul on this planet to have it times a million. Okay. There's always enough. It's just an energy. Whatever you are blocking comes from an internal fear, comes from a limiting belief. Be mindful of that because it is hindering your transformation. If it's not where it needs to be or feel, understand that this is the transformation that you're on and be mindful about being very present so that you are not caught in the trap of, well, how is this going to work? Because the how is not up to you, Capricorn, the how is up to the universe. What's up to you is the what you want and the surrendering of, of the resistance. That's it. And living happy. Believe it or not, it's living happy, right? It's just knowing what you want and then, okay, living peacefully and happily. I mean, come on, like talk about like walked away with a meal ticket, like, hello, that sounds great to me. Okay. So all I need to do is what my tasks and be happy and let the universe guide me. Okay, perfect. Well, how do we do that? Well, we have to surrender and we have to accept that we are going to have to overcome limiting beliefs by challenging ourselves and by trying new things and living from a place of, of not fear. But when we do that, then we have a lot more clarity anyway. So really now it's about Capricorn, just letting go, just letting go and simply allowing the universe to guide you where you need to go. Follow those good vibes. If something feels good to you, it's the right 
choice. If, if you put on clothes and they don't feel good when you wear them, don't eat them, right? If you eat foods and they don't make you feel good, don't eat them, right? If you have a business decision and you weigh it out, okay, I could make this choice, how does that feel? I can make this choice, how does that feel? Weigh out the two and if you can't make a decision, go for a walk in nature or go get out of the environment and then come back to it or simply be present with nature, right? I love you trees, I love you birds, right? Be present and then the clarity will come. You don't need to think about it, you just need to simply allow it to flow in. But that is where we get tripped up. They program us here that we need to think about everything and we need to learn it, we need to go to school, it just doesn't work like that. We need to simply release, surrender and allow the guidance to flow through us. It only comes when we're peaceful and relaxed and when we're present in the moment. All right, Capricorn, I hope you enjoyed your reading. I hope there was a message in here for you. If there was, like, share, and subscribe. I truly appreciate you. Spirit loves you. I love you, Cap. And until our next reading, keep shining, baby.